how are you guys doing? Uh, Strategic Productions here. I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I wanted to finally make another video. And I'm just going to be talking about my new gaming PC that I built up. Um, yeah. I haven't been into PC gaming since like fucking like 2005. That was when I was like fucking, I don't even remember, like what, 10 years old, 11 years old. And um, that was back when I was into GameTap. Like GameTap was like the shit back then like if you don't know what game tap was game tap was this app you can download and it was i think it was like ten dollars a month and you had access to all these classic games and like all these ubisoft games and like a bunch of modern pc games and uh, older pc games as well um you know and i used to play that like religiously but from then I got like a laptop that had like a uh, a graphics card and shit like that, but and I played that a little bit using Steam, and then I just I basically didn't have a PC for like a long time, and um, yeah, so I finally built one. Well, I, I can't really say I built built one because I did buy a pre built PC. And then I took the parts out, and I, I kind of, like, learned my way around how to um, put the parts together. So I guess I could say I built this one, um, because it's a whole new case and everything. This is not the case I got with the, with the parts. You know, I bought my own graphics card. I bought my own RAM. I bought my own fan. bought my own case. You know what I'm saying? My uh, power supply that's in there, I bought that. You know what I'm saying? So, I basically, I guess you could say I built this PC. Um, the only thing I didn't buy was the hard drive. And that has Windows on it and all that. That's for my pre-built PC. But uh, let me just take you on a little tour of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here's the front. You know? Got two, uh, two fans. You know, to blow the ear out. You know, and I got a little HyperX sticker. It's kind of hard to see. But that's the HyperX sticker that I got with the RAM. See, it's 16 gigabytes of DDR4, which is like, I guess, supposed to be fast for processing applications and doing, you know, background tasks and all that shit. You know, and these are some of the ports. This is so I can control the... Wait, no, that's the card reader. And this is... I think over here, the switch right here, so you can control the brightness of the fans. You know, that, that one fan, for some reason, it's like, I connect, it's connected to the motherboard. It's not connected via a power connector. So it's like, for some reason I can't control that one, but the other ones I can. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. And, this is the top of it. This is where you can put more fans in. Remove this. You can put more fans in there. But this is used to keep the dust out. Yeah, and it's funny because I was against like PC gaming like a few like months ago. I was like, yo, fuck PC gaming. That shit is so corny. Fucking gotta spend all this money to do shit and you know, but I wasn't really fully gonna be into it for, for gaming. It was mostly for like video editing and I was using it to like record videos and stuff, you know, put videos on YouTube. So that's what I'm doing with this bad boy now. So yeah, let me get back here, show you some of the ports. But yeah, uh, yeah. So it is that the back fan, a rare fan, and Ethernet cable, my long ass Ethernet cable, um, HDMI. Power supply is right down there, that black thing. Yeah, so there it is. And I didn't really sh show you the internal components. I mean, I did, but I wanted to kind of go over it a little bit more. But yeah, there's the GeForce RTX 2060. 
I'm pretty sure I gotta change that, like, at some point. But it's a pretty good card. I think it's like a 1070 Ti equivalent. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I could play like most my. I could play basically on this machine. I could play all modern games at like ultra settings. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty badass uh, machine. And then I like. The funny thing is, is I was not into PC gaming. I was I had no interest in it. But then I had interest in like streaming and recording videos. Because I don't have a capture card right now. So if I want to actually record gameplay videos, I have to use this thing. And I'm going to do that. Um, I'm actually going to make a Shadow of the Tomb Raider video. So look out for that one. Because that game is super fucking underrated. But yeah, man, that's just a little gaming PC tour. There's still more I have to add to this thing. But this case that I have, this is the case that I'm going to stick with for a long time. I love this this case. Um, but I think I might add some fans up here, though. Yeah, i going to add, like, two RGB fans and have them all colorful and shit. But yeah, this is a really cool PC. So, guys, yeah, tell me how... Um, if you're into PC gaming, tell me what kind of PC you got. Like, leave your specs in the thing, in the comment section. Um, or you could show me your PC by, by you know, by doing your own gaming PC tour. But yeah, this is mine. I don't think it's super powerful, but I think it's like, I I think it's pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I could play, like, modern games. Like, I was playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider on this. Like, 60 frames. The only problem I have in that game is that um, I get, like, micro stutters. And I think that's because I'm playing off of an HDD instead of an S SSD. Uh, so, I got to get that solid state drive at some point. Um, but that's my only real issue. Everything else has been good. I love this thing, man. This is, this is, this is, this is it. <laughs> So yeah, man, uh, that's Strategic Productions. Yeah, I changed my name. You know, I want it to be more of like a productions channel instead of like just video games. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And you know what to do. Like, rate, comment, subscribe.